Hey everybody, welcome back to Minecraft Story Mode. A lot of people were surprised to see me play this game because it's a Minecraft title-ish, but uh... Yeah, it's, it's a light-hearted story from Telltale. What can I say? I enjoy it so far. You gonna be okay? You're probably still upset you about okay? the little blast fest they had last night. night. It happens. We were all tired, and I'm just glad you're okay. Thanks for being so cool about it. Cool beans. Super cool beans. Hey! There's something over that way! What is it? Some kind of building, I think. Let's get a closer look. I couldn't put my finger on who was doing the voice, and, uh... It is, in fact, Patton Oswald. Or Walt. Is it Walt or Wald? Oswald, I think. This has got to be it. This has to be the place. <laughs> what is this place? That's what we're trying to figure out. It's the Temple of the Order of the Stone. Lucas, are you sure? He's For right. sure it has Look. to be. Holy crap. Do you think they're in there? Let's go in and find out. Let's just all be careful. Okay. If you spot anything, call it out. We don't have a lot of time. Isn't it weird how dispensers are carved to look like spooky little faces? What do you dispense, <laughs> little guy? I get the feeling that we don't really want to find out. Get behind me. Okay. Brace for spiders. We do have our sweet golden sword now. Ruben, no! 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 This is bad. Yeah, it's probably not a good thing. Oh, come on, dispenser faces. I thought we were friends. Not even Run. close. Down? Jesus. <laughs> We're trapped! We activated the dispensers with that pressure plate. If we can figure out a way to trigger it again, I bet that'll shut them off. There's a crafting table, maybe we can make something useful. Out of what? We don't have anything. All of our tools and materials are back home. All right, everyone, empty your pockets. Let's see what we've got to work with. I have a few sticks left over from building the shelter last night. I've got some flint and a piece of string. All I have are some chicken feathers I picked up after that chicken machine exploded. <laughs> now, let's see, I've got some flint and steel, a sword. Oh, and some string from a spider that I fought in the woods earlier. String, sticks, flint, and feathers. I have no clue what we want to make with this. Okay. Oh, we can make a bow. I gotcha. And then we need the string. Now, do we need to make like an arrowhead probably? Yes, let's do that. Do this. We're gonna have what? One shot? Oh, beautiful. All right. The order of the pig's luck is changing. <laughs> it's the greatest name for our gang. This must be their enchantment room. Doesn't this look like Ivor's creepy basement? Yeah, a little bit. It's got books. Find anything useful? Not sure about useful, but definitely interesting. 
There is a lot of history in this room. This seems special. The battle was fierce, but the Order of the Stone emerged triumphant, saving the land and ensuring that peace and prosperity would reign forever. Well, not exactly forever. These five, five members, members, five friends, together would give so much to gain their rightful place as five heroes. They would author their own end. They would slay a dragon. Ivor was a member of the Order of the Stone. Okay, that's kind of the surprising. The stories never mentioned him. This is so crazy. This is why they're so against each other. had such a grudge against Gabriel. Yep. They lied to us. They lied to the whole world. Why would they do this? This is so crazy. He must have done Order something. might not be what we thought they were, but Petra is still out there. That monster is still out there. Jesse's right. We need to focus on what we came here to do. Where do these stairs go? It seems like he was really bitter about the all the fame that Gabriel was getting. Only one way to find out. Now this is cool. Wow. What happened to the walls? More like what happened to this whole place. This must have been where they met. So where are they then? Gabriel said that once we find the temple, the amulet would lead us to the Order of the Stone. Well, what are you waiting for? Pull it out then. Is something <laughs> supposed to happen? Well, that was and a letdown. do stuff. There's got to be something we're missing. Look around and see if you can find anything. We've got to be in the right location. It's just a matter of figuring out how to use it. What you looking at? Nothing. Whatever. Axel? I was just trying to figure out where Petra might be. I mean, I know she's going to be fine, but I was just curious. We're going to find her. It's a map of the entire world. <laughs> this is way nicer than the one at Endercon. Find anything interesting in that book? The only thing I've found so far is that the amulet was used to track the positions of the members of the Order. And does it mention how? It's less technical and well, more historical. Hey, Reuben, find any clues? Oh, good little Rube. We're in the temple of the Order of the Stone. The Order's actual temple. Who'd have thought it, huh? A bunch of small towners like us wrapped up in an adventure like this. Yeah, it's pretty insane. I just hope we all come out the other side in one piece. Could have been how the other adventurers got their fame and then they just, maybe they crafted a different story. I will check out this pedestal, but we've got a bunch of switches that we can. Oh yeah, okay. So those things are lighting up. Okay, let's check out the pedestal, see if this tells us what we need to do. It's the same as the amulet. Do we maybe put the amulet on? There we go. Don't worry, you guys. I've got this. Okay, so that gets the top two. Middle one. If this just works... Hey! <laughs> wow! 
That'll do. It's absolutely incredible. How did they build this? Okay, now I'm impressed. Anybody know what the colors what do you mean? Think the colors mean. The different colors represent the different members. Okay. It's the order. It's showing where they are right now. Look, we don't know enough about how this thing works. Maybe the amulet only tracks them when they're on the surface. Or maybe it doesn't work when they're in the nether. We have to go off what we do know. Okay, well, I think we gotta... Let's there figure this thing out. There are only two lights on that map. Because there's two missing. There are only two heroes left that we know what we need to do. Hetra's relying on us. That wither storm is still out there. We know that Gabriel was trying to tell us something. We've got to find the Order of the Stone. But there are only two lights. There are only two members of the Order left? He said Soren was missing. That leaves Magnus. Or Eligard. Well, let's head out. I'm not going with you guys. I have to stay here. Why? If I know Petra, she's probably doing everything she can to find this place. She's still out there. She has to be. Oh, I don't know if staying behind is a good we idea. We might need your help out there. You should come with us. No. You don't need me. This is where I should be. If there's even a small chance she's alive, I have to stay. Go. Get help. I'm gonna focus on making this place safe before nightfall. This temple is pretty big, though. If we're gonna have a chance at fortifying it, I'm gonna need some help. Oh, no. If, uh, maybe one of you guys can hang back with me? Sounds like Olivia will have you totally covered while me and Jesse are out finding Magnus. Finding Magnus? You really think that's how it's going to go? We need Eligard. She's the world's greatest engineer. She'll figure out a way to stop that thing. We're trying to destroy it. And when it comes to destruction, Magnus is the master. I think we go for the engineer. You're a smart person, Jesse. Obviously, the smart thing to do is to go get Magnus. I <laughs> think Axel meant Eligard there, Jesse. Uh, no. I don't think I did. Pretty sure Axel meant Magnus. Jesse, the point is you should be going to Eligard's. It's the clear choice to make. I agree You've with you. you got to come with me. You're my best friend, Jesse. It's you and me. Like all Olivia, you and I are going to Eligard's. Awesome. Axel, you stay here with Lucas and get the place ready for when Petra shows up. We know you guys are or good buddies. So you'll have guy? plenty of time to work out your issues. I'm right here. Come on, Axel. For Petra's sake. Fine. I'll do it. For Petra. I'll take it. Maybe we should leave Rubes with them. Guys? Whoa. Please hurry. <laughs> a little bit of a cliffy. Alrighty, alrighty. Jesse and Olivia return to the nether, intent on finding Eligard, the redstone engineer. And find themselves in a place of mechanical marvels, redstone rarities, amazing machines, limited only by the imagination of their brilliant creator. While the great storm grows, consuming everything in its wake, time is running out for our intrepid heroes. Okay, interesting. Did you send Reuben away or keep him with you? Oh, I want to see these. Rescue Lucas or alert Gabriel? Did you try to rescue Petra or Gabriel? Did you leave keep Lucas from leaving the shelter? Did you choose to seek out Eligard or Magnus? Wow. Not in the majority for most of these. Told Ruben to run. Uh, the only one we were in the majority on is uh, seeking out Gabriel's help to fight the Iron Golem. That's kind of cool. I don't see it changing that rapidly. Cool. Okay, well, that was fun. It's, uh... The thing I like about this is that it's super lighthearted. It's based on a world which I don't know a whole lot about. And, uh, therefore it's kind of like a whole brand new... Kind of, um... Well, 
for lack of a better word. It's a brand new universe, brand new world to, to play around in. So, uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. I'll... Uh, one of the things that I really want to do and that a lot of people have been asking about from a uh, Telltale perspective is doing Tales of the Borderlands. Obviously, that's a little bit more of a uh, mature setting, which is more up my alley. But uh, this was definitely cool to, to check out. And uh, we'll see. We'll see if I come back to it at some point. I probably will. Um, because I don't like to leave things unfinished. It's not a big time commitment, and it's, uh, it's relatively light, so I'm do I always do a lot of, like, really heavy story stuff, but, uh, it's nice to have a little bit of a change and just sit back and kind of chill out and be a bit immature. I don't mind doing that sometimes. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and, uh, we'll see you next time. Take care.